Hello, Dark Overlord. Can I know your evil plans? My evil plan is the money. I don't have time to talk to you. Yes, sorry. You are not allowed to talk to the Overlord. I can talk to you instead. Okay, what is your evil plan? Evil plan is simple. Your War Smash is allowed. You can publish as much War Smash as you want because it still traps the user into the official Warcraft 3 game download. But we send our minions to do the legal actions against the Loria or Purple War games on Steam so that none of our livestock escapes and do the legal gag order to the enemy so that none of the livestock know so none become scared. Whoa, that is an evil plan. What do you mean, livestock? Sheep like you, of course. Okay, thank you for sharing. You didn't hear it from me. I am just a humble cube crawler number seven lawyer. Of course, sir. It's worse than we feared. The enemy seeks to move against us. They're plotting to make a legal precedent that they should own all RTS or something. This is terrible news indeed. What shall we do about it? There might still be a way to make this right if we can pull together. And what exactly would you propose that we do? Warcraft 3 and the world of Warcraft codebases share a common ancestry. If we can use the source code of War Smash to construct a working and open source prototype of World of Warcraft itself, that allows users to create maps in Warcraft 3 Map Editor. We could potentially kill two birds with one stone. On the one hand, we will draw the attention of any World of Warcraft players who watch Bellalur and were not able to discern on their own that War Smash was never given a cease and desist, and that all that talk was false information. For those folk, we bring them truth. Meanwhile, for the actual users of our WarsMash technology, we would further promote the use of liberated software and liberated thinking, increasing the amount of free-spirited human consciousness in the world. World of Warcraft? But isn't that game the source of all our problems? The demise of our genre? Perhaps it is, but perhaps it isn't. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? There are many people for whom it would be fun, and perhaps not too harmful, if they could live out a digital fantasy in their spare time. Where fantasy and storytelling become trouble is when they are used to the detriment of the people's well-being. And you think that a World of War Smash technology would not be to the detriment of the well-being of its users? It is a strong possibility. Or at least, it is when compared to the corrupted reality overseen by the Dark Overlord and his evil plans. So, let us not stop ourselves from dreaming with the machine. Let us try. Look at the player, Paul. It almost looks as if the simulation is working. 
but is it a unit? Can it fight?